Well, this hasn't really been up for a while, the homemade generator. And like you can see, I got handles on it and belt guards back on. But yesterday, I just went to Harbor Freight and I had a coupon for an inverter. So I got a 2000 watt inverter. I think it was like 139, 138, which was a pretty good deal. They usually run around 200, so I figured I'd grab it while I can. So I rigged that up on here. Got the ground cable, positive and negative. I just use an old set of jumper cables for those, so they're heavy enough. Right here, you just clamp them right on. All right, should light up. Yep, we got about twelve and a half volts. So I've been trying stuff out on it, see what it can and can't run. Um, it can't run an angle grinder, or whatever you want to call it, just a regular old grinder. I don't know if that's over 2,000 watts or not, it might be. It runs the light good, actually runs the better battery charger pretty good, so you can always charge batteries up in the woods and stuff if the tractor dies. And it's really good on gas, even under a real pretty heavy load. It's not bad, it hasn't actually gone down much since I put it in. So, I gotta get the switch for this finish getting hooked up because uh, it has to go from these two wires up to here and that starts charging to the battery. But I have to put a toggle switch on the frame here somewhere along with an amp meter I like to put on there also. So that'll be getting done soon. And then to mount this on the back side where you can't really get to like bolts and stuff I made a couple of clips out of aluminum slides right under and then just some eighth inch strapping that I used and I just have it clamped on for now because after this video I gotta take these off paint them and then weld them on there so that's there for now and the 12 volts still does work with the inverter on there which is good so I suppose I can fire it up for you and see how it does
So the main reason why this is all <clears throat> rigged up is well, one for around the house and power outages and whatnot, but also uh, for the upcoming engine show that I'll be at this weekend actually. So it's only in like another four or five days. I'm gonna bring this there so we can have some lights at night around the canopy and whatnot, so we can see. And we can run the battery chargers if anything dies and whatnot and drop lights. So, anyways, that's a little update on the Honda generator and where it's at now. So, sooner or later I'll get around to painting it, but probably won't be anytime soon, considering that's galvanized. Just the rust is mainly just where I was welding, but other than that, it's working out pretty good so far.